Hey everybody, it's Kevin DeWalt of ProLego, and well, it has come to pass. The first public company to be impacted by ChatGPT happened last night when Chegg reported its Q1 results to investors, and woohoo, brother, they are not pretty. So Chegg stock is down by 43% in pre-market trading. So today, today I'm gonna to talk to you about what happened and what you can learn from, uh, che from Chegg's example. Um, so you probably know Chegg as the company that disrupted the textbook market by having textbook rentals. And this was, it got started around 2005. But in the last couple of years, Chegg has evolved its company where most of the revenue comes from online services, such as having students pay a subscription service to get online uh, help with homework. Um, and so that's the state that the, the company's in. Um, and interestingly enough, Chegg was not caught flat-footed by the GPT tsunami that was headed their way. In fact, in their quarterly results, the CEO talks about how they met early with Sam Altman of OpenAI to talk about their GPT strategy and how they've been working on a new service called Chegmate that's designed to take advantage of generative AI. And so they also announced that this quarter as well. It's also worth mentioning that Chegg is run by some really talented management team. This is not a company that sat around with a franchise printing money and got caught flat-footed. This is an aggressive company that's shown the ability to reinvent its business whenever there have been shifts in the market. But unfortunately, this shift happened too fast even for them. Um, so uh, if you look at the Chegg's quarterly report, they talk about the Chegg Make service and how they're going to regressively respond to AI. And, um, and unfortunately, investors just aren't buying it, and I can understand why. And it's because regardless of how aggressively and how effectively Chegg uh, in integrates some of these generative AI models and these other AI services into its core offering, their core franchise of a subscription service is going to be under attack. And they are going to be competing with a Cambrian explosion of freely available tools in, for education that allow that people can leverage based on OpenAI's ChatGPTs for uh, generative and reasoning capability. And so when you can, if you start looking at some of the open source projects like AutoGPT and some of the other ones that I've talked about, when you start connecting all these different tools together with the, you know, all the information available on the internet, it's pretty clear to see that they're going to have a very difficult time competing. Um, so we'll see what happens to Chegg. Um, I think that the the bear the, the bull case is that this is a great management team, and I have to believe that they woke up this morning and they are absolutely shell shocked by the market's response because I expect they were seeing expecting to see some positive response from the market based on the aggressive nature of which they've tried, tried to um, respond to ChatGPT. So that's the, the bull response. The bear response is just they're not going to be able to execute fast enough and they're just going to get run over. And unfortunately, it looks like the bear market is the one that the investors are buying right now based on the stock. Um, so what can you take away from this example? Two words, start now. Too many companies are sitting on the sideline, watching what's happening, waiting what happened, because they're not sure exactly what's gonna happen and what's gonna transpire. And I imagine most of the people who are on the, who are advocating, let's watch it and wait uh, side of the strategy are looking at Chegg's example and saying, well, we're not in the education business. Of course, you know, ChatGPT and you have students that are paying a subscription service and you can use ChatGPT for this. Naturally, they're gonna be disrupted, but we're nothing like that, baloney. Every business is going to be disrupted. Every business process is going to change because the biggest impact of this technology is not its interface as a tool helping students do homework. It's using it in building business applications that can do mass automation at scale. And the companies that are the first ones to leverage this technology are going to be the ones that emerge as the winners in this tsunami of a change. So I hope it helps. Have a great day.